Hey, how's it going, D? This is Jack uh, with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video analysis for you. I understand that you're looking to maybe put someone on payroll for marketing, um, but I just wanted to show you kind of what we do here and how we could help uh, your website um, grow its presence online and get more traffic to your website and uh, eventually more sales and more clients. Um, the first thing I did was I pulled a tool called AREX, which is a tool that search marketers like myself use on a daily basis to take a look at the back end of a website and kind of see the health of it and see kind of what's working and what's not working with the website. So the first thing that I see right here is the backlinks and referring domains. Um, so it looks like you have 484 backlinks on 66 referring domains. Basically what that means is there's 66 websites um, that, are, that have 484 uh, links total that are pointing back to your website. Um, so this is a very important metric that Google utilizes to determine which website should rank higher than another website. Um, so in general, what you want to have is a lot of good quality websites that are relevant to your website. So in this case, it would be medical marijuana and patient related things. So you want to have those kinds of website, um, websites pointing back to your website. By doing that, you'll show Google that you're more authoritative and you deserve to be at a higher spot for a given keyword than another website. Um, 66 referring domains on, on 484 backlinks is not a lot, especially for a website that has multiple locations. You definitely want to shoot for I mean, close to 300 referring domains on about 3,000 backlinks. That's when you're really going to show Google that you are an authoritative website and you want to um, really really um, push your keywords because uh, and that and that'll show Google that you really um, can push those keywords because you're an authoritative website and you deserve to hold that higher spot than others because you have all these good quality websites that are giving you credit by pointing um, that link back to your website. So um, right here, besides that, your organic keywords is how many phrases on Google that you currently rank for. So if someone uh, searches up medical marijuana physician in Colorado Springs, then that would be one phrase that you might currently um, rank for. Not necessarily on the first page, but that uh, Google is giving you credit for. It. Um, traffic value is basically how much um, the amount of traffic that you're getting might cost. Uh, this organic traffic is basically uh, the monthly number of visitors that are visiting your website. Uh, this tends to be on the lower end, so but this is a good rough estimate of kind of how many people might be currently visiting your website. Um, what I wanted to show you real quick was this right here. This keyword explorer is basically a tool in AREFs that shows us exactly how many people are searching for a certain phrase into Google per month, and then maybe the how difficult it might be to actually rank in that um, thing. So what I did was I actually typed in Colorado red card because that's essentially what you guys do, right? Um, you you um, people apply to get their red card, and then um, a physician or or you guys provide. The, uh, the services that are required to get them to get that obtain that red card. Um, I noticed that right here, if you search up Colorado red card, um, there's a volume of 500 people per month searching it, and uh, the keyword difficulty is two, which is basically on the lower end. Um, I looked at your rankings right now. Let's see if I can pull that up right now and see where you're at. So you can see MJ America, Colorado.gov, Hail Mary Jane, Mass Roots, Westward, and Relax Clarity. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like you're holding the sixth spot um, organically for the phrase Colorado Red Card. Um, I just want to let you know that statistically, when uh, based on how many uh, percentage of people that uh, search this phrase and click on the top link and the second link third link this probably gets about 20 percent of the actual search volume the top being closer to about 50 to 60 percent so you can kind of gauge how much of a difference just being on the first spot when people search a Colorado red card is as opposed to the sixth spot now you're already getting credit for this phrase by being on that first page and being on the fifth sixth on the sixth ranking just by doing a little bit of uh, so attaching some backlinks and, and providing so, some of those websites to point for you which is something that we do we do that on the daily we specialize in it um, you're just gonna start ranking for this kind of phrase right because especially when we're doing our backlink process we're making sure that the backlinks have this kind of phrase in it and that's the kind of phrase that's pointing back to your website so Google knows that this is the kind of keyword that you want to rank for so um, right now you're at the sixth position but just by moving up to the first position um, you can just imagine just how much more traffic is going to be coming to your website um, because you're gonna go from about 20% of that tra capturing that traffic to about 60% uh, 
50 to 60 percent so that much more and then from there there's so many other different phrases that people are, are searching for similarly so right now what you're ranking for a lot where your most of your traffic's coming for are where people are actually know your brand and so they're searching up relax clarity colorado springs relax clarity denver relax clarity broomfield um what you want to do is you want to start capturing the people that don't really know about you, right? The people that are searching up how, you know, red card Colorado Springs, how to get a red card in Colorado, right? Um, all these different phrases, and they and this might not seem a lot, but um, these these numbers aren't ever, not very um, accurate, especially when when it comes to, uh, dips below 50. And then once you start capturing all these, imagine just how much more traffic you're getting just by capturing all these different phrases in Google, and not just the phrase like relax clarity and all those variations of that, right? Um, so that's actually very important let me go take a look at your website and see kind of what's what's working what's not working uh, the first thing that I noticed is do you see right here the schedule appointment um, okay I see how this is working online booking okay so you can see how th it's a little bit clunky um, the whole schedule and point online booking please allow, pro allow approximately 60 minutes for your evaluation um, you know, I think this looks okay. Um, I just think that it could just be cleaned up a little bit. Um, considering just how much people are actually visiting your website per month, um, I, this needs to be very fleshed out and, and a lot cleaner than what it actually uh, looks like right now because I can see how this works, but can you imagine what it looked like on the phone actually? Who knows if this part is actually even coming up for them to be able to schedule it. I would even just recommend just doing a quick opt-in form. People uh, say their first name, last name, email, maybe phone number, uh, location, and a question or message, right? And then they can schedule the appointment in that way. Um, right here, let's talk. This background is kind of hard. It's hard to see this text behind this background. So if you could clean that up that bit, I would I highly recommend that. This right here seems a little bit clunky. I would have uh, maybe the locations that you have as well, maybe your hours of operation. That might be kind of nice. And then maybe even a map right here. Uh, the other thing that I noticed is if you go into locations, um, you see that there's a lot of, uh, you have these locations under like Broomfield and all that stuff. But it only just takes them to an online booking page. So you're not getting a lot of credit for when people search up um, all those different phrases that I was talking about earlier, um, along with um, the nearby town that, may, that they might be searching from or adding into the keyword. So right, so Google has a way to track um, where you're searching from just based on previous location and, and search history and things like that. So um, because right now all you're seeing is like an online booking page, and not like something that's about the location. You're not getting a lot of credit for those kinds of phrases where people are searching those kinds of things. So you want to make sure that you build out these pages a little bit more, have a lot more content, and then um, start ranking that way. Uh, the last thing I would recommend doing is maybe adding a phone number, right? So I know that you have a phone number for depending on which location. I can't seem to find it right now. Oh, here we go. So yeah, so you have different phone numbers on here. What I would recommend doing is I would look at look into making sure that you have a central phone number right here at the front and center that people can call in case they have any questions. Make sure that's a phone link so that people can just tap on it on their phone. It'll take them straight to the dial pad and they call you that way. Um, so yeah, I mean honestly, you have a lot of traffic going to your website. There's op room for there's room and opportunity to really convert that into more sales. Um, just if you optimize your page a little bit better and then add those kinds of elements that help. Um, people navigate through your website a little bit better. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about briefly with you is to make sure that you actually understand um, what citations are and how that could benefit your website as well. A citation is basically um, a, a business directory that you can submit your name, address, and phone number onto as well as the, as well as the services that you provide. Um, by having all these citations, because you have multiple locations, um, Google is probably having a hard time understanding which uh, location that they want to give you credit for. All right, so when someone types in, uh, going back to this result, Colorado Red Card, do you see right here on the right hand side, you see Red Card District? The reason why you're only seeing this, this, uh, this, these people and not your, your, uh, 
your business in this location is because Google doesn't have any citations to base off of. These guys have a Google My Business. I'm sure they have plenty of citations. If I want to run an analyzer through them, I'm sure they would have at least 50 to 100 citations for this location, which is why when someone searches a Colorado red card, they're getting this big banner on the right-hand side. You could capture this spot um, if you were able to do the uh, correct citations that people were looking for. So let's say I was typing in Denver red card. Do you see how even in Denver Red Card, these guys get the credit at Red Card District? Let's see if I type in Colorado Springs Red Card. So then, yeah, so you're 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 capturing the top position for relaxed clarity, but you're not capturing any of the map positions. The reason being is because right now, whether someone searches up Colorado Springs, whether someone searches up um, Broomfield, everything is pointing back to your home page, right? So right here, all of it is your homepage. What you want to do is you want to have all these different phrases be pointing to your inner pages. That way, Google doesn't get confused. So right here, you might. So right now, Google thinks that your website and your business place of business belongs in the Broomfield area because this is where it's getting credit. And you're gonna have a lot of time, a lot, a lot harder time trying to find this kind of uh, credit on the other phrases when people type in your different locations because Google doesn't understand which website or which location it should give you credit for. By being, by doing the citations for your website and doing it in the correct way that we're supposed to based on location and based on the inner page of this website so it's not just pointing all to the home page, that's going to help show Google that you have multiple locations. It's not just your, you have different citations, some of them are for this location, some are for this location. Google will understand that you have multiple locations by do, having this, having separating them, doing them correctly, and then um, keeping them consistent so that that way Google can clearly see exactly what's going on with your uh, business because they can't manually go in and figure out which website is doing this or that, right? So they just have bots and crawlers that and an algorithm that um, crawls these things and, and helps them explain what's working, what's not working. So that's the kind of thing that um, we can do here at um, Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. So I know you're thinking about um, maybe putting someone on the payroll for marketing, but I, I want you to uh, consider this. Um, even if you just pay someone $10 an hour um, uh, just to do the marketing for your website and they work full time, 40 hours a week, um, that would just be, that would be $1,200 a month for someone um, to do the marketing for you. And you can imagine just like what kind of quality that's, they might be able to provide you at $10 an hour. Um, you might be so busy that you're hand holding them through the process like hey I need you to do a Facebook post hey um, I need you to learn this this and that that it might be hard for you to be able to um, actually focus on on growing out your business instead of doing all the SEO like we do this for a living right this is how we make our paychecks we don't make money unless we provide value to our clients and we bring them business so we know exactly what we're doing we might actually be a lot cheaper than um, actually hiring someone for a salary right um, even if it's even if you think about whether it's ten dollars, uh, I mean not ten dollars, but like fifteen dollars an hour, um, that's still uh, twelve. What's twelve plus six? So eighteen hundred dollars. I mean, you know, that's the kind of thing that that I I would encourage you to maybe consider doing because we have many many ways to uh, go about um, doing your SEO. And um, it might be a lot more cost effective for you to do it, and you might get a lot more in terms of your ROI um, by working with us um, rather than trying to hire someone on your payroll for it. So I appreciate it if you kind of saw, saw this all the way through. Um, I'll shoot this out to you. Um, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know what you think. Maybe I'll reach out to you again. But I had some free time here at the office today, and I figured I'd just do this recording for you. So um, if anything, maybe you could use this as a, um, as a something that uh, your future SEO person or whoever you hire out can use as a reference for kind of what they might be needing to work on. So I hope this helps and uh, take care. Thank you.